Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. First, I want to say happy Sunday. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Please stay aware of your surroundings. And please, y'all, watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life or keep you out of trouble. Okay, y'all? So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. Um, It's a lot coming out, y'all. It is so much stuff that's coming out right now that you all wouldn't believe. Okay? Um, A lot of people is saying that, you know, this goes over, you know, Jay-Z and them and this and that and this. Yes, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly, y'all. Because every time there is, you know, somebody being taken out in broad daylight and, you know, in the tripped out as places and this and that and that and this, they have, and you best believe, receive approval. This is why, you know, things are going down the way they are. This is why there's a cover up by, you know, crooked, corrupt people and stuff like that because of the fact that they received approval. I want y'all to pay attention to how Mo3 was taken out, y'all. Broad daylight, allegedly, on the expressway. Now, some people tend to believe that it took place somewhere else and all of this other stuff. The same thing with Dolph. But I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that there had to have been an approval. People don't get this brave. And then after they do it, you know, they claim, you know what I'm saying, y'all? That they did it. And they let people know in their songs and videos that they post afterwards and this and that and that and this. You don't do that unless you think that you got enough backup to cover you, your, you know, your tail. This is why people do the things that they do. There were people that were coming out. And it's the same thing. Just like in Mo3 case. The female that he spent the night at her house. Her mother came out and said, we got friends that have places. She was the first one to let a cat out the bag. Okay, y'all. She was the first one to let a huge cat out the bag when she said that. It's the same thing with Raven. Raven said, this is political. So she was letting a cat out the bag. They in the same boat. Raven and the ski sister's mama. Okay, y'all. Same bag. They feel that they, you know, can run their mouth. They can do whatever they want because they have the, you know, the backing of the people who did it and they have the backing of the people who allowed them to do it. And this is how this continues over and over and over again. We as the people is going to have to be the ones that's going to have to put a stop to stuff that's going on out here. Even in the streets. Even in the streets, when you when, when crimes is taking place out, out here on the streets, people going to have to stop being so scary, and they're going to have to all open their mouth. They're going to have to talk. But you do have to be careful who you talk to. That's another thing. It's a lot of people want these streets cleaned up. It's a lot of people that's quiet and sitting back watching corruption take place, even at the White House, y'all. And every time I make a comment, people think that I'm on one side more than the other. I'm not. I'm on God's side, y'all. That's the only side I can be on, to be honest with y'all. Do we see more stuff happening on one side than another? To be honest with y'all, you're in the same boat with both. I'm just going to be completely honest. When Trump was in office, didn't he pardon somebody that was close to Jay-Z? That worked for Jay-Z? Didn't he pardon people that worked for Jay-Z? A female that was all corrupt, corrupt too? He pardoned her. Okay? People are paying for freedom. People are paying to, you know, get away with crimes. 
And it doesn't matter who's in the White House. Because when it comes down to that money, and somebody's laying them stacks of money on the table that y'all helping them get, because y'all are supporting them in one way or the other. If you support these rappers that's going out here committing crimes, you are helping them pay for their freedom, y'all. You are. When you go buy tickets to concerts, you're helping them pay for their freedom. Because they turn around and use your money at these concerts or whatever. And if they're into street pharmacy stuff, um, the crickety people that's out here cracking their head in there, smoking their kneecaps off, they're helping them pay for their criminal, you know, stuff that they're taking, doing out here on these streets. You're helping keep this stuff out here on the streets. It's as simple as that. So I want to talk about a few things because people have been coming in my comment section and you can tell when you're, you know, hitting some nerves because they send their little minions to your page. Oh, this is this. Oh, this was street stuff. This didn't have nothing to do with them. These are their minions when they come in your comment section and say stuff like this. I just block them because I'm not hard up to get subscribers like that. When I get subscribers, I want subscribers that got on their thinking caps. And we're going to put our thinking caps on together because nobody is over anybody over here on this page. This is why, you know, I take what my subscribers say in the comment section really, really serious, especially the ones that really want to get down to the nitty gritty of what's going on out here in these streets. Not somebody that's trying to help cover up people. And you can tell when people are coming to your comment sections to try to cover up stuff. And like I told you, I'm hitting some nerves because I got a couple people came in my comment section and they're defending Monica. They're trying to defend Monica, y'all. Somebody came in my comment section and they was like, why does she have to have pictures with um Young Dolph? Why does she have pictures with um Jay-Z now? She claims she's so close to Young Dolph. But you have not one picture that you took with him? I got so many people hitting me up in my emails and telling me this and that, that and this and that. But it still doesn't excuse the fact that you claim you so close to Dolph. But you have not, nobody have gave me one picture of them together. Not one, y'all. But you could go Google her and she has pictures all over the place with Dolph Ops. The people he was getting into it with. The people he was in competition with. The people that was following him from city and city and state to state. To try to take him out. She has pictures with all of them. But none with Dolph. Make it make sense. Somebody even tried to be really, really nice about it. And I appreciate you for being respectful for coming in my comment section and saying, it wasn't like the way you think it is, Miss Lowdown. She um she was friends with Dolph. She did, she that. I said, well, baby, do, do. Can you show me one picture of her and Dolph together? No, no response. And then later on, somebody else posted, why does she have to have a picture with Dolph? If she's so close to him, why not? She got pictures with Jay-Z. She got pictures with Yo Gotti now. So why don't you have a picture? You got pictures with Yo Gotti's mama. So why you ain't have one with Dolph? Everybody's trying to make excuses for her. Somebody came and told me this and let her look at out the bag too, which the only thing that made sense to me about Monica. The only thing that made sense was she was calling herself, and, and, and you know somebody hard up, okay? You got to be hard up when you are dating somebody that's in jail for life, allegedly, okay? She is dating somebody, and she's a super-duper star, and you are dating, she's still trying to date, you know, um, Master P's brother. And word on the street, Master P can't stand her. Master P has said out his own mouth that she is some type of um setup queen. Which puts you in the same boat of Lauren London and all of these other females that, you know, people have sicked on celebrities when they want to take them down and jealous of them. So I put her in the same boat as the Black Widow boat because it's a boat with a whole bunch of females in the industry that's, you know, clearly Black Widows. They mates and they take you out or line you up. 
And I put her in that same boat now because of what, the things that I'm hearing about her. Until she proved differently. And so far, she haven't. Now, the one thing, like I said, that made sense that somebody said was she was calling herself dating, you know, Master P's brother that's in prison right now. Master P's brother that's in prison, see murder, whatever his name is, um, him and Dolph were kind of close. And word on the street is um, Dolph was putting money on his books and all kind of stuff. He was seeing to this man. You wouldn't think that Dolph would have to see this to this man when he has a family that's rich. His family is rich. They have money. So why do Dolph have to see to everybody? Dolph was seeing to everybody, y'all. But at the same time, Dolph was seeing to everybody. Dolph couldn't keep that pack of whacker in his pants to save his life, y'all. He couldn't. He couldn't. Even when I talk about Dolph and how he looked, all the women just, just get, get giggity geeky about Dolph. They say he was so handsome, you know, all kind of stuff. They they just, they, uh, they always brag about his good looks, everything. His, you know, how he carried himself, everything. So he had that swag that the women loved, y'all. And that's another thing that'll get you taken out. Well, other people don't have that. Like he had head and mo head right here. Women didn't want him until he got that clout and got that money. You could tell with Angela Simmons, she didn't want him with a ten. She didn't want to touch him with a ten foot pole. But once you know he got that foot in the door, and that clout built up and all of that other stuff, he got that foot in the door with Angela. And it doesn't matter how bad the clout is. Because he has a target on his back. The people want to see him in the ground. For what happened to Dolph. This is what they want. She don't care about that. She got one man that's in the ground. Baby daddy. And now she put her life in danger. To be with another man that people want in the ground. So you have to just kick back. And just wait till this play itself out. With her and him. But like I said, the only thing that made sense about that was Monica did not want people to know that her and Dolph was mingling and tingling. She didn't want people to know about it because she didn't want it to get back to see murder that was in prison. Word on the street. This is what they're saying. This is why she don't have any pictures. This is the only thing that makes sense. If the picture would have got back or the word would have got back to her guy that she called herself in love with in prison, then he would have broke up with her. Ain't that why he broke up with her in the first place? All of a sudden, she got dumped by somebody in jail. Remember when everybody was talking about that? Is this when everybody, when he found out that she was mingling and tingling with Dolph? Creeping with Dolph? And you know what's the tripped out part about this, y'all? The tripped out part about this is Dolph was running and see Marta face, and he, at the same time, he was mingling and tingling with somebody that he claimed he was in love with. You know people be in love with you when they're in jail, but when they get out, you really see who all they was in love with. Okay? And the games that they were playing when they get out. But this guy ain't gonna get out. Unless somebody pardon him. And I don't see that happening no time soon. Because ain't nobody hollering at the presidents to try to get him out of there. Or trying to pay the president off to get him out of there. Because believe you me, if they did, he'd be out of there. Because it seems like freedom is for sale now, y'all. So somebody want to keep him in there. Because they ain't trying to make no, no negotiations with the presidents to get him out. That's the only way they're going to get him out. And ain't nobody trying to do that. That I see. Because I think if they was really trying, they could get him out. Just like they got other people out of jail that should have been still in there. Okay, y'all? That's the only thing that makes sense. Of why there's no pictures of her and Dolph. But if you still was close to Dolph, even if you was creeping on the side on your man that's in prison, you still would have had a picture of something with you and Dolph. There are none that I can see. And the people that's want to run to my page and take up for her, 
Show me a picture. Well, get the off my page, okay? Because if you take the time, take all these pictures with everybody else, you would have took at least one with somebody that you claim you loved, okay? So, um, miss me with that one, okay, y'all? Even if you was trying to hide it from your man, you still would have had some type of picture. Even in your phone or something that you and off was friends in some type of way. It's okay to even take a picture with somebody even if you're not mingling and tingling with them. So she could have just been like, we just took a picture together. The fact that she don't have a picture with Dolph screams volumes, y'all. It tells you a lot, okay? You didn't want to take a picture with the enemy. You just wanted to line them up. My personal opinion. Okay, y'all? So, that's the only thing that made sense a little bit. A little bit. But what makes more sense is... You were working with his ops. You were in town the day he came up allegedly missing. Okay. So, I don't know about all of that bull crap, okay? Now, let's talk about everybody that helped land allegedly. Duff up and moved up in position. We have people that was close to Dolph, his business partners, that had little things going on for them they had car lots all kind of stuff but now the Dolph is out the way you get a lawyer and you take over and now you are over all the Dolph stuff not your stuff Dolph stuff something ain't right about that picture okay y'all something is not right about that picture and the people that's all around you or in your facility or you yet having meetings with is allegedly Dolph's ops Something is not right about that one. Okay, y'all? Um, This one right here, her profession alone puts a target on her. Okay, y'all? Her profession alone. Now, word on the street is, somebody came in my comment section and said, you know, not too long ago, she was doing a concert and she passed out or something like that. Maybe her past is coming back to haunt her, y'all. Because when you take somebody out and help line somebody up and they have not done nothing but be nice to you and you help line that person up, you got some bad mojo on you. You know, it is what it is. And she ain't making in this industry being around the people that she's being around and she don't know nothing about the stuff that they're doing. Ain't no way nobody can tell me that when it comes to Monica. Okay, y'all? Now, the people want to know since they want to jump in the comment section. Is this over Jay-Z's head? I keep telling y'all it is. I didn't told y'all that for the longest it was over their head. But that don't make them innocent because it goes over their head. They just played a part. Like, allegedly, they played a part with a lot of other people, y'all. A lot of other people. And the tripped out part about this, there are people like Mace and Cameron and all of these people that um, try to warn people about how Rockefeller, whatever, rock, you know, Jay-Z and them are, and people won't listen. People think cause just because their name is Jay-Z and Beyonce, if they want to sign you, you're going to make it out here. A lot of people ain't. A lot of people that have something going for them that's dealing with Jay-Z and them, they still end up falling. They still end up, everybody falls around them but them up until now because 2024 is revealing a lot of stuff, y'all. So much stuff is coming out. But we want to get into the people that um, they had to go through to make this happen because this was a lot of people that played a part, y'all, a lot. This is another one that was in town, allegedly. Not only was he in town, but his car had got hit up, y'all. The insurance man came out and said that his car got hit up. And he was trying to tell him to report the car missing. This is what the insurance guy said. Which I kind of questioned some stuff he said. Because if JC Nim and Yo Gotti Nim and Black Youngster Nim is so dangerous, why would this insurance man come forward and tell on them? Why? Wouldn't that make him a target too? 
I'm just saying. I said this before. So can we believe anything that the insurance man said? He claimed that that, that car that was used for Dolph and Covington. That man said that that was, that car was in Black Youngster's name. So why haven't Black Youngster been arrested? The, the insurance man came out and said that um, he told him to report the car stolen. They put on the news, which we already know the media, they got in their back pocket too. They came out and said that the car belonged to some white woman. Remember y'all? And it was stolen from her. But this this new this insurance guy said it was black youngsters. What's with that? What what happened with that part of the investigation? Where did it stall at? Because when a car it belongs to somebody, it belongs to that person. It ain't no way to really just just turn it to somebody else's car out the blue. So why did those stories, you know, didn't add up, y'all? Why didn't they add up? Ask yourself this question. Why didn't those stories add up at all? I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. Now, this one right here, name is coming up. I have to let y'all know this one right here. His name has been coming up a lot, y'all. This name has been coming up so, so much. Um, they're saying that Jim Strickland is another one that played a part in what happened to Dolph. This is what I'm hearing, y'all. I'm just telling y'all what I'm hearing, okay? They're saying that, um, he played a huge part in this. Word on the street is, he's not only the mayor of, um, Memphis, okay? But they're saying that he, he started off as a lawyer. He's a lawyer, too above everything and word on the street is he has something to do with um Adolph's rental properties being seized word on the street this is what i'm hearing y'all so i'm gonna say allegedly because i don't know but this is what the streets are saying so um is this guy under investigation too you have to ask yourself this question because a lot of people's under investigation right now y'all a lot there are a lot of things being looked into, and he's one of them, word on the street. They're saying that, you know, Papa Oreo got a lawyer to take over, to override Dolph's lawyer. In order for them to be even able to do something like that, was number one, Dolph had a crooked lawyer that was either stealing from him too, Or he was just a pushover that they could just push out the way. Or he was paid off. One or the other. And two of them could be. He could have been somebody that was stealing from him too. And then he wanted just everything out of his hands because he didn't want to be bothered with it. Okay? So he could get away with what he stole as well. And then get over, get, hand over the rights to somebody else. But him handing over those rights, I do believe he still received a payout. In order to do that. Another thing is um, they're saying that this mayor could possibly have something to do with the fact that not only, you know, Dolph property and stuff being seized, but they're saying that Dolph stuff should have went to probate court. And it skipped probate court. How do you have over 100 properties? How do you have over 30 dispensaries? And you skip probate court. The only how that happens is people are in agreement with stuff. And I don't understand how you could be in agreement with stuff. Now, another thing that's coming up is Dolph family, word on the street, y'all. They're saying that Dolph family was being extorted. They had something over Dolph's family member's head. And they were holding it against them to make them work with them. To take Dolph out. This was before he got taken out. And now they're saying it's still going on right now. That they're being taken advantage of. And they're saying this is why Dolph family is so quiet right now. 
which makes sense to be honest with y'all. A lot of Dolph family members had property. Dolph made sure of it. It ain't no way that he wasn't going to look out for everybody else and not look out for his family first. So Dolph family members had, they have properties. Not only do they have properties that they own, but they have businesses as well, some of his family members. So I want you to think about something for a second. If you have family members that have property and businesses, you have Dolph that you want him out the way because he won't sell his property that they want to, they want that land to do some stuff with it. And he's buying up everything. Think about what you go after family members to help line him up. That own properties and businesses. Because to be honest with y'all, the city, they play a big part in a lot of things. I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that people are starting to lose their homes and all kind of stuff now. Because the taxes is doubling and all kind of stuff. All you got to do is keep coming at somebody. Keep coming at somebody. They start losing the hair, turning gray, all kind of stuff. Worry, stressing. Because, you know, they're messing up paperwork in the office and your taxes is going up and this and that and that and this. Or you owe a bunch of money that some people run up debt and all kind of stuff. If you want this to go away or if you want us to leave you alone about your property and your this and that and that and this, you got to work with us. We don't know what they had over the family members' heads, but word on the street is... There was something, there was some extortion going on with the family. Which kind of makes sense to why they would use certain family members to play along with whatever went down. Because there are a lot of unanswered questions, y'all. Dolph being as big as he was, or uh, is, still. People want answers. People want answers and they're not getting them. Ain't no way in the world when somebody really wants justice for their family member, they're not going to say, you know, show some of the footage of him walking into Makita's. Show some of the footage. Don't show the really gross stuff or what happened or went, went down, but just show a little bit of it. They ain't show nothing. And why would the family be in agreement to that? Especially when everybody's trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together to help y'all get justice. All you need is the mommy and mama and daddy to say, show that footage to the people. Don't cut out the other part, but show him walking in. Show, you know, everything that went down. Don't just show us somebody running to the window and then a the brother hitting up in the air, not really trying to hit nobody. Show us everything. Except for the gross part. Cut that out like they normally do on the news when they want to get justice and people to help out. They don't want people to help. The people that's trying to cover it up, they don't. And why is the family agreeing to certain things? Why is the family agreeing to Orange Mount Quack getting out of jail? Why is they agreeing to Shondell being let loose? Why is they agreeing to so many things? And those things that they're agreeing to is affecting the case. Because bodies are dropping that would, could possibly have been witnesses. Why would the family agree to that? You have to ask yourself this question, and who is really behind what and when and where and why? Why is there no beefing going on with the family whatsoever when you have a man that has two children that we know of, okay? A mama and daddy that's still alive. No probate court. Everything has been blocked. Y'all, if you go try to look up the names of the properties and all of this stuff, a lot of stuff has been blocked. And you have to ask yourself, why? Why? They don't even want to tell you who names the properties was under. But you can go Google Dolph Properties and it will say Dolph owned over 100 properties. Why weren't they in his name? Now, a lot of people are saying they wasn't in his name. Because of the fact that, you know, he was out here doing street stuff and that he didn't want his stuff to be taken because he had a lot of people against him, okay? Um, he didn't want them to take it. So it makes sense that he would put it in somebody else's name. But who name did he put it under, y'all? 
We know some of the kids but for their birthdays. He would give them a house for their birthdays and all kind of stuff. They were given property. But why isn't anything in probate? Why? Mo3 stuff is in probate. His stuff was in probate. They took over and everything. They put his mama over it, had to kick her off, and all of that stuff. Because she was out here thinking that she was out there singing the songs. Okay, y'all? She was playing the baby mamas. She was giving her money to spending the money on, on, on Mo3 brother, letting him do whatever he want. And now everybody want to come and talk, get on, get on people's pages, all kind of stuff now that they done got kicked off of the, the money. They want to talk now. And it reminds me of this right now. It reminds me of this right now. If they were to stop giving Dolph Mama anything or Dolph Daddy anything and this and that and that and this, would they start saying something then? Would they be raising the roof then? Just like what's going on with Mo3 case. Because to be honest with you, the person that has the most rights to all of this stuff is the kids. So why ain't probate taking over Dolph's case? You have to ask yourself all of these questions when you have a mayor that's a lawyer too. And his names just keep popping up, y'all. It keeps popping up, popping up, popping up. Who did Dolph put the names under? We know he didn't trust Mia J, so we know he didn't put it under her name. He didn't trust her. So who names was it put in, y'all? They have a blog on who has ownership. Definitely. Okay, y'all? They have a block on who has ownership over those properties. If it's in his kid's name, why wouldn't they say it's in his kid's name? Something is not adding up when it comes to Dolph's whole situation, y'all. The whole thing. It don't make no sense. Now, some people are saying it's a possibility that the people that the person that Dolph had the name under, they could be deceased too. They could not be alive. This is why there's a block on any information, any information about his properties. So is that person gone too? You got to ask yourself this question. How convenient would that be? For the person that Dolph left the name, the, the property name in, under to be gone too. Or if they're not gone, why isn't anything going on? Another thing I'm finding out, Dolph had a wheel, y'all. Word on the street. They said Dolph had a wheel. And the wheel was not even put in play either, y'all. So it's something odd going on with this whole case. People was given permission to me. I'm just going to say this. My personal opinion. They were given permission. They was given the green light, y'all. To take Dolph up out of here. And everybody gained off of it. They got those properties. And, and most likely, don't be surprised that the properties that they wanted Dolph to sell. Don't be surprised that they get sold. The ones they wanted sold. Because they can they can keep this stuff going in court and this and that for years. So people just pass away and nobody gets anything out of it. Look how long Prince family was fighting over his money. And all they had to do was divide it equally. But they all was fighting to get one more than the other and this and that and that and this. And he wasn't close to none of them. He wasn't close to none of them. It was like a big joke for Prince. Prince could have had a wheel if he wanted to. He didn't. He just said, let them, let them, let them put paws on each other and, and, and go at it, over it. He didn't care. He didn't have any kids. He knew that they were going to go at it over that money. And they did. They were all selfish. That's why he didn't deal with, Prince, Prince didn't deal with his family like that. They were all selfish. Nobody thought, out of all the millions of dollars that Prince was worth, nobody, it never dawned on them, like, let's just divide this up, and we won't have to be in probate court forever. But they, it took them years and years and years and years and years to get what they had to get because of all of the beefing with each other. The same thing was about to happen with Takeoff, too. Takeoff left a lot of money when he passed away. No kids. 
Only people that had rights to his money was mom and daddy. And I did a video on it. And they were, they started off starting a beef. And I said, they're going to be just like Prince family in probate for years. Because the mama and daddy can't just say, you get half, I get half. You go your way, I go my way. We both made him. Right after I put that video up, you ain't heard a peep out of Takeoff's family. You have not heard one peep out of their family ever since. Y'all, I said that. They had to agree. They had to agree and go their separate ways. And that's what they did. And this is what's going on with Dolph's case right now. Out of all the stuff that he had, people are in agreement. They are not only in agreement to, you know, who get what and what and what. Like I told y'all, there's no beefing going on about his property stuff whatsoever. They're not saying a thing. They letting their, um, uh, Papa Oreo, y'all. They letting him do whatever he wants to do. Okay. Um, everything. Everybody's in agreement. And it's starting to make me wonder. You know, did the city jump in here? This is just a, just a thought, okay? I'm not saying this is, you know, it's, it's, it's golden, even though it could be. But I'm just wondering now, you know, did the city give them an ultimatum? We'll divide this, this, this property out amongst you all, and you won't be in the middle of court for a long time, and this and that and that. And this. only thing you have to do is agree on certain things. This property that the city wanted, sell it. So that they can do what they need to do. If they finna run a train through there, whatever it is that they wanted their property for, give it to them. Dolph had another, enough stuff to go around. Y'all don't need to be in court for a long period of time. Okay? Another thing, let this person out of jail so that he can help with the case. Which he's not really helping with the case. He's helping mess the case up because people are bodies are dropping. Okay, but this is what they told them so that they can get Orange Mount out of jail so that he can eliminate all the people that would have told or they thought would have told. And one being Big Jook. Because Big Jook was picked up and somebody had to go and tell what Big Jook told. Okay, y'all. Big Jook said something and I don't think Big Jook wanted to go down. For what went down with Dolph. So Big Jook said something and they let him back out. And whoever, which I do believe some crooked cops went back and spread the word to everybody and let them know that Big Jook, what he said. Just like the other guy that got taken out and the other guy that got taken out. Okay, y'all? They let a little cat out the bag. And I believe that some dirty cop in Memphis went back and told that this person said this, this person said this, you better get rid of. And I think that Orange Mount was the person to come back out and make that happen, y'all. Now, do they still got snitches out here? Yes, Orange Mount don't want to go to prison, so he'll still snitch on somebody. Is he going to be somebody that they're going to get rid of still? Possibility. And I'm going to tell y'all this, that Shundell guy, he's playing it off to a T. People is like, oh, Shundell is working with this person now. I wouldn't doubt it. But at the same time, Shundell is a snitch. Shundell knows what happened with Mo3. Shundell knows what happened with Dolph. He has a lot of stuff in his back pocket right now to work with to keep himself out of jail by letting other people stuff out the closet. Okay, y'all? So it's a lot going on right now. And it's a it's a it's a huge play with a lot of people. Look at these mayor's office that's getting um all of these mayor's office, y'all. That the, the, the mayors that's in office rather, that their houses is getting raided, the people close to them houses is getting raided. A lot of these mayors is crooked, y'all. So it's no it's no I'm not surprised that this guy name is popping up, especially and he used to be a lawyer. And and, and I'm gonna tell y'all this. Um, Jay-Z and Yogati them, they have lawyers in their back pocket that's 
you know, let him know how to beat this, how to do it this way and this way and that way. Keep your name from popping up and all and all and all. This is who has to go in order for this to not come back to you. I do believe that the lawyers that's in their inner circle, I do, and this is my personal opinion, I do believe that they're coaching them on a lot of stuff. This is why they think that they are untouchable too, y'all. But you cannot have the fact that now we are finding out that Jay-Z is connected to. I'm just saying, y'all, Bass Pro Shop people. You can't have that. It's up and it's stuck when it comes to that. So I don't care how your lawyer telling you this and that and that and this. You associate it with the Bass Pro Shop people. That's huge. That's huge, y'all. And don't y'all find it ironic that nobody's talking about it? I put it out there and I was like, I'm going to see if any of the bloggers going to say anything about it. If you really want justice for Dolph, why ain't anybody mentioning it, y'all? I know they don't want to give me my props for it, but they still not even talking about it, y'all. So do you really want justice for Dolph? You have to ask yourself these questions. When you put in connecting these dots and then people that's calling they stuff, oh, I am for Dolph. But you don't want to mention that? That's a big piece of the puzzle, y'all. I have to lose respect for people if they are not going to talk about this. I can't be the only one that say, well, I, it doesn't matter. I can be the only one <laughs> that say it. That Jay-Z is connected to the Bass Pro Shop people in Memphis. I want y'all to pay attention to that. And it hurts their hearts for to see me put something out before them. But you still ain't going to say nothing. Even when they come out on their page with something first, I'll still throw it out there like, yeah, I got this from this person and that person. and duh, 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 duh. Even if I don't get along with them. But nobody's saying that. Even if you don't mention me, you are still not talking about the fact that Jay-Z is connected to Bass Pro Shop? That been popping up for a while now. We're going to get into that on another video, though. Okay, y'all? This is the DA, y'all. This is the DA, Amy. She's also close to people that's close to Black Youngster. She's close to a judge, y'all, that Black Youngster has in his back pocket. And you wonder why things are moving the way they're moving. You wonder why the feds have to take over this case. Uh, everybody that's attached to this case is close to CMG members, y'all. Do you see this? This judge right here says, I'm waiting on Santa Claus with my firstborn. This judge is the mother of C.J. Davis. This judge is the same judge, y'all, that's running around town calling Black Youngster her son. So, <laughs> is they trying to say her son is related? I know that's probably not her son, but if they close enough for you to be running around saying this is your son. So you telling me that you, you a mama bear, uh, somewhat, to black youngster, and your daughter is over the police station? And y'all wonder how? Look at it for yourself, y'all. The judge says she love him, y'all. I can't take him nowhere without paparazzi taking over my son, black youngster. Do y'all see it? This is what she posted. A judge, y'all. This is the judge again, y'all. Do you see her picture right here? That's her. December 7, 2019. This is what she has posted. I want y'all to see this. 
FaceTiming my son trying to strategize how we are going to save the lives of our youth. How the heck can he save the lives of the youth when he running around here dancing on on grave sites, y'all? He's at the cemetery dancing with his weapons when they take somebody out. And you're talking about you and him going to help save lives? Well, a lot of people done passed away because of your son. She said, we need you. It takes more than a village. What do you need him for? And he's the one that allegedly is, is doing all this mess. This is another thing that she put out, this judge, y'all. Pay attention. Me and Mr. Benson trying to strategize on how we can get weapons out of the hands of juveniles. This work takes everybody. Love you, black youngster. This guy right here is amazing, humorous, and has a heart of gold. His car got hit up. His, the, his cars that is in his name is coming up in a database for the cars that took the hits on people. And she said that they are cleaning up the streets. They strategize it. Is she admitting what y'all get from this? Let me know in the comments section. Is she admitting, y'all, that her and some non-criminal, criminal organized crime members are strategizing? Was Did y'all strategize Big Juke up out of here? So that stuff wouldn't come back to them? Did you strategize the other guy get and take it out? That was tied to the case too? Did y'all strategize taking Dolph out? Ask yourself this question. Because to me, she's putting herself in the, right in the middle of this mess as well. And y'all wonder why the feds have to take over this case when people are so close to the hitters? Alleged hitters? Y'all... This is huge. This is what a judge was posting. My mother-in-law, Brenda Rogers, was hit up and taken out in 2004. She inspired me to start the second what? Great memories. Look at Black Youngster, y'all. They acted like he's a hero. And y'all wonder why he's not locked up? Are you serious? More judges he's hanging out with, y'all. We are the village. And you wonder why the feds have to come in and take over, y'all. Are you serious, y'all? Are y'all serious? We got pastors. That's for the ops. No matter. He put his own life in danger. People in his membership, he put their lives in danger. Because anybody can run up in there and, and act a fool up in there. Okay, y'all? It'll be like point of no return up in there. Y'all seen that movie Point of No Return when she was in that restaurant and it went down? This is how it could be up in that church. Because he chose to have Big Jook's funeral. Y'all. And now him and his wife and everybody scared at their man. He's watching his back. Go to the store, whatever he has to do now. He got to watch his back because of one day. One day. This is just how greed takes over the brains of people. Oh, I'm about to get this amount of money for having this funeral here. But you don't think about is you going to be able to spend that money freely. Because now you got to watch your back. Now your church members, they got to watch their back because they don't know, know who's going to run up in there. Now you run into the police and the media talking about, you know, y'all need extra protection. But you keep on taking sides with the ops, y'all. This is what they keep doing. Taking sides with the op of Dolph. And it doesn't matter to them. I want y'all to remember one thing before I leave up off of here. This video. Is this the friends in high places? Because after Dolph was taken out, everybody then ran to the White House. 
Is this where the approval is coming from, y'all? You got to ask yourself this question. Is he approving the things that they are doing out here? I just saw <laughs> Glorilla, okay? I don't know why they didn't, she didn't name herself a monkey instead of Glorilla, but she named herself a, go, go, a, a gorilla. She named herself after a gorilla instead of a monkey. But that's what she should have. Monkrilla. Okay, y'all. She was on the news. Talking about her experience going to the White House. This girl is the face of our youth right now. She could barely read. She could barely write. If you can't read, you can't write, y'all. She ain't got enough sense to throw. But they want to make her the face of our youth. There are people right now that is beefing with their children right now. Because they don't want their kids to go to this concert that her and uh, Megan Thee Stallion them put together. Because they saying that... Um, yeah, it's a, it's a girl that her mama is beefing right now because she um, told her daughter she's not going to that concert because she's saying that Megan Thee Stallion music is inappropriate. You know, it's not for kids. So this concert is, um, you know, getting a little backlash because they are saying that Glorilla is, you know, her music is kind of a little pop music for the kids, which I don't think her music is appropriate either, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but I guess it was another step up the ladder of, you know, um, mingle tingle ladder when you put Megan Thee Stallion on with this, with, with this, with, you know, Glorilla. So people are not approving this. Some people, parents don't care because their kids is out there like that anyway. They don't care. But a lot of parents is like putting their foot down saying, no. Nah, Glorilla music is too obscene or whatever that they do not want um, their kids listening to her or going to her type of concert with her, you know, moving all around on the stage, you know, rexually and all of that stuff. They're saying that they don't want their kids to go. So there's a little, some people that's not going to be showing up to the concert, but it's going to be a lot that is. But they don't understand that this is all about the election. They want their followers to vote for Biden. When you have to go through this extremes to get with the most wretched, wretched, okay, y'all? People that's out here like, um, you know, Nasty Red, and you got to go through Megan Thee Stallion and all of this stuff. People that's promoting, you know, all of this, you know, wretchedness. When you have to reach that stoop that low that you have to just blend in. With the worst stuff that's out here, that's guiding the youth in the wrong direction to win an election, you have to ask yourself some questions. And I keep telling y'all, people be like, oh, so you're saying that, you, you know, we should vote for Trump because Biden has got all the CMG and them at the White House and then this and that and that and this. So you think that Trump is better? If Trump was pardoning Jay-Z's workers that was out here doing wrong. If Biden is having partying at the White House, it doesn't matter, do it, y'all? Does it? Trump got money problems right now. And when you got money problems, but Biden is getting a lot of people endorsing him. He got a lot of money coming in. Millions and millions of dollars is coming in to support Biden right now. Trump, on the other hand, is having money problems. When you got a person that need money, they'll do anything to get it. So either one is, is messed up. You know what's the worst part about this whole election stuff is out of this whole world, United States, yeah. Out of the whole United States. These are only two people that we have that it boiled down to. I say this all the time. This is the only two choices that y'all giving people. And both are, I, I keep saying this. 
both are messed up. When you got Trump, and I and I, and I, you have to look at Trump almost like you look at Raven. When you got people that's hard up for money and PPP loans and all of this stuff going on with them, they will do anything to get out of debt. They will do anything, including help line somebody up. And I have to say this because even if Trump won, what if he was, you know, offered millions of dollars to pardon? Even if they did lock up your Gotti them, Jay Z them, all of this stuff for Dolph for whatever other things that they have him for, this dispensary that they are calling themselves, you know, investigating about the dispensary stuff and all of this stuff, that he has motive for wanting Dolph out the way for. What if he goes to jail? Ask yourself this question: Will Biden or Trump? pardon Jay-Z. Will Biden or Trump pardon your Gotti? Will Biden or Trump pardon P. Diddy? If they put a stack of money on their desk and if the answer is yes to each one of them then it doesn't matter y'all. Word on the street is, this is how other people were pardoned. Lil Wayne and all of that stuff. What's the other guy's name? The other one that's smoking his kneecaps off? Didn't he get pardoned too? And he's still smoking his kneecaps off. Didn't Trump pardon them? So if he pardoned them, you don't think that Trump will pardon Black Youngster and Yogati and all of these people? Y'all don't think so? If offered the right amount of money? It's a reason why these two are the only choice for America. It's because this is how they want it, y'all. You mean to tell me nobody Nobody, out of all the smart people with that we have in the United States of America, all of the people that could get in office and make a true difference, out of all of these people, people that really do love their communities and helping the communities, there is nobody that they could find to put in this position to be voted for, to make some changes at the White House, the White House is becoming a joke, y'all. It's a joke. Now you see why people came there to do what they did to the White House. Not saying that I'm not promoting nothing, none of that. But it didn't get that wretched at the White House. Look what they got bringing in there. Look what they're bringing in there. The White House used to still somewhat be respectful. It went downhill, I do believe, when, when, when Obama came in office. And, and um, you know, Beyonce and Jay-Z Jay -Z and them was hanging out at the White House. It went downhill then, y'all. The very person that people wanted in office. Oh, the first black man to be in office. Oh, the white, the president. Black people thought that this was a beautiful thing. And they voted him in. And he won. And things ain't been the same since. But did they do any homework on even Obama back then? Obama was making changes in the black neighborhoods before he even made president, y'all. He was making changes in the black neighborhoods that messed up the black neighborhoods, y'all. People lost their homes and all kind of stuff. People was out here trying to sell the food stamps, y'all. This is what they were doing. So they could pay their light and gas bill. This is what they were doing. No doubt they could have just went and got a job and paid for the lights and gas. But they got to a point where they were being cut off of stuff just out the blue. 
and it made it harder and harder for them to get assistance. And if you're going to cut out assistance for Americans, why are you giving it to other people that's not even Americans? Okay, y'all. Why? If you don't have enough of money to give Americans that suffered, they got sick and lost loved ones during this little everybody getting sick stage, you gave out some checks to everybody and they act like that hurt them to the core. You have to raise prices, this and that and that and this. What do y'all think is coming from all these migrants that they're helping right now? It's way more than they were given. They gave us. Things are going to go even more through the roof in 2025 than you wouldn't believe, y'all. Prices are going to go be jacked up in 2025. You're going to see the aftermath of 2023 and 2024 and 2025. If you thought prices were high, are high now, Watch and see what's going to happen in 2025. People's taxes for their properties are doubling. They ain't going up 10%, 20%, 30%. They're doubling. If you were paying $4,000 a year in property taxes, you're, a lot of people are getting hit with $8,000 property taxes now. Okay? If you were paying $6,000 property taxes, they're doubling them. People are paying twelve. They're taking it to court. The The news people is coming out and all kind of stuff. They're telling people to you report it, this and that, and they're trying to go over their heads because they figure that if we do this, we won't lose our homes. People are losing their homes now. And at the same time people are losing their homes, other people is taking them. So pay attention to what's going on, y'all. Okay? Anyway, um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.